There's growing pushback tonight from local parents and state leaders about the state's star test. A Sour Lake woman is asking that test be banned. 12 News reporter Jordan James spoke with that angry parent. I feel that standardized testing right now, it's really seen and viewed through a lawmaker's point of view. All across Sour Lake, people have hot opinions about how they feel about the star test. Not everyone is standardized, you know, not every test kind of works out the same way. We put so much pressure on this one thing that not everyone can do well at. For Tara Mitchell, she's unsure about how to feel about this issue. Kind of on the fence, kind of in the middle uh, about it. Um, when used properly, I think it can be a very useful tool. That way you can you know, kind of gauge where students are at. While most of Jonah Murphy days are spent stacking books, he says he'll never forget the feeling of having to take a standardized test. Having to sit there in that room and just stare, you know, at this one packet with all this pressure of my whole, you know, educational career right there in front of me. Emily Lincecum is a parent and is going one step further, asking the mayor to sign a proclamation saying that the STAR test should be banned inside of Sour Lake city limits. The move comes one day after Deborah Mayor Stephen Herlick did the same thing. Federal law requires standardized testing for districts across the state to receive federal funding. If we can get a better system in place, then it would definitely be something good. I'm glad that they're able to do something like that, that they can make their voice heard. And while this resolution holds no legal grounds, it was sent a message to Austin that another Texas town has had enough. They're the ones in the classes with the kids. They're the ones having to administer the test. They're the ones we should be listening to. In Sour Lake, Jordan James. 12 News. The Sour Lake Mayor tells 12 News there's a possibility that he could put the star test on the agenda next week. Now, if that happens, the council will ask the public their opinion on this matter.